Bassett, Torp Lind is second, Sabina Contini is third, Susanna Swed is the fourth skater, and the fifth skater is Yuka Sato. Debbie, warming up. I think a lot of skaters may have a misconception about it. Maybe some of the fans have a misconception about it. I think it's important at times, and maybe sometimes maybe overemphasized. What are your feelings? I believe that a competition is won and lost in the warm-up. It takes a tough competitor to get out there and kind of bury your soul in front of a, a crowd who is watching every move you make. I have seen skaters uh, interfere with another skater's warm-up, which, of course, puts you off stride. The warm-up is choreographed. You only have six minutes. You've got to get all your material done. If you're number one to skate, you probably only use five of those minutes. Maybe we can just set the standard for our viewers quickly as well. The first skater indeed does set the standard as far as judging is concerned. That's right. The judges will be given an opportunity by the referee at the conclusion of their program to learn what the average mark is on the panel. If they wish to change their mark at that time, they may do so. It can be particularly helpful for a new judge, someone who has just started to judge at this level. And certainly the ISU, the International Skating Union, is trying to encourage judges to judge without national bias, shall we say. And they really have to answer if they do not judge within two or three places of where the skater actually ends. They have to tell why. Be honest with me. Would you take their job for anything in the world? There is no amount <laughs> of money. They have the worst job in skating, and they get no... Nobody ever says thank you. All they get is grief. Like Rodney Dangerfield, they get no respect. <laughs> but they do a terrific job nonetheless because they are here day in and day out. It is not easy as well. Maybe sometime during the afternoon we'll actually get a shot of what the judges have and that they are able to do what they do. And we are going to see our first competitor in the ladies' free skate. Lu Chen, 14-year-old, the first Chinese lady competitor ever at the Skate Canada competition. Larger piece of ice. 
for Anisset Portland, the four-time national champion from Denmark. A couple of miscues. I think she's tired. She's been skating a lot here this week, competing in everything. Yeah, she has been in the interpretive and, of course, competing in this. It must be difficult to keep. It is difficult to do so many things and do them well. It might also be affected by the hour of the day. Most skaters do not like to perform early in the day. Very good point. Former Italian national champion, 21-year-old Sabina Contini. She, too, busy this week also skating in the interpretive program.
almost been very flat back and flat leg, but in so doing, it becomes very fast in its rotation. Marks for technical merit. Leave her at the bottom of the pack, and also marks for artistic impression will do the same. But she is still a skater on the rise, Sabina Contini. One time by getting a pair of skates for Christmas, and so did this young lady. She is the youngest competitor here, only 14, Susanna Sweb of Poland. Poland. This 
Crystal Sal was one of the good clean jumps in the program, but look at how deep she is down on that landing. The free leg shooting forward instead of pulling back sooner to help her get out of the jump. She finds it tough to skate in Poland because ice time is very expensive and no one can afford it, but she's still doing very well considering her age, only 14. Her marks for technical merit and her marks for artistic impression will leave her at the bottom of the pack, but Debbie, the operative word is potential. I think she's got a lot of skating to do. So, 18-year-old from Japan. It started 
with the triple toe at the beginning, which was successful. But then something happened. She started to doubt herself. That triple toe was maybe some kind of indication as to what was going to come. The free leg wild on the landing, swinging very high and to the side, which forced her to curl the landing. Then she singled everything through to the end of the slow part when the triple loop was the turning point, which she landed successfully. Because of the heat in the building, so many of the skaters have been wilting mm -hmm. as they get to the end of the program. That's the first one I've seen that actually went the other way. Much better in here, though, than it was the other night when yes. everyone was sweating. And we all felt it here in the London Gardens, but uh, the conditions over the last couple of days have been near perfect. As Yuka continues to collect her flowers, and we await her marks, she really is a, a delightful skater when she has it together. Very expressive arms. Again, a, a rather delicate, but don't think I'm kidding around kind of style. <laughs> yeah. All right, here come her marks. She has one first place ordinal and technical merit from one of the judges. The marks for artistic impression will see how she ranks after this first flight of skaters. Our next flight is still to come. And Yuka Sato is in second place right now behind China's Lu Chen. You see her marks for artistic impression. But our next flight is still to come. Five fabulous skaters. And two that we will be watching very was the, the biggest victory of my, my career so far, day so far. Um, I, I skated extremely well, and the competition was very tough. I, I felt like I was in a dream when I skated up to the podium because um, I had visualized all week the, the, the empty podium and which one maybe I would go to. Would it be the second third, or third place or possibly the first place? And so I visualized positively all week that I would skate up and step onto the top to be a world champion of France. Debbie, say what you will about skating be a, being a very aesthetically pleasing sport, artistically pleasing. When you watch these ladies warm up, there is gamesmanship on the ice. Surya has been glaring at everybody as she goes through the warm-up. A lot of material to get accomplished in a very short period of time. These ladies, all five of them, are very experienced internationally. There is a kind of ice etiquette that goes on. Uh, you move out of the way when someone is uh, entering a jump. You have to have eyes in the back of your head almost. It gets to be tough. Jill Trenary has been having a few problems on the warm-up. Started out very strong, missed a toe pick on one of her triple flip attempts, and has not been able to land anything since. Tell me something. Who, who do you think has the advantage here? Karen skates first, Tanya second, then Marina, then Jill, then Surya. It depends on their state of consciousness. Um, some people like to skate last, some like to get out first. Karen Preston, to my thinking, has the most difficult position because she's first out of warm-up. Surya tends to crumble a little bit under the pressure of skating last. Uh, we'll see whether she has gained some of the maturity to be able to deal with the stress of skating last, how she deals with that. Maybe she watches, maybe she stands in the shower stall uh, to avoid there's Karen Preston, who was reduced to fourth place at the Canadians in Saskatoon, then subsequently reduced to tears. She also is on the comeback trail. I wonder if we could have a confrontation or two between, at, at the end of all of this. If Jill goes out and skates a very artistic program, very pleasing, but then Surya skates a very athletic play. From the Toronto Cricket Club, 20 years old, the 1989 National Ladies Champion.
We'll find out how she scored after these words. Flowers that have come out of the London Gardens this weekend. I guess that's why they call it the London Gardens. Because <laughs> of all these flowers they have here. I'm not sure. This the triple loop jump. The only really serious problem in the program. She accomplished the triple foul, the triple flip, and the triple toe with numerous double axles. But in this section, which was a, a very interesting and change of pace footwork, it didn't seem to have sparkle. Remember that the judges score out of a perfect six, but it is not how they rank in the judges' minds according to a six, but how they rank according to the other skaters. And Karen Preston has first place vote from six of the seven judges. And Karen Preston, for now, is our leader at this Sun Life Skate Canada International. And she is yelling encouragement to Tanya Bingert, who is up next. And Debbie, say what you would like about Sir Yabonnelly being very powerful. I think Tanya Binger could be the most powerful skater in the world. She travels across the ice, not only during playing stroking, but also in the air. A lot of her family and friends watching in Richmond, B.C. today. 21-year-old Tanya Binger.
And it's the Dallas Young Lady. We'll find out how she scored after this. Elvis Stoiker is coming. Needs a little polish on the artistry, but technically, she has all the tools. Good comparison. She does have all the tools. The jumps were fabulous. This was the beginning of the program, this enormous double axle, followed very quickly by split jump. And through two, a triple toe. was a second place finish recently in Vienna. And her mark for technical merit, her ordinal, from some judges, are first place ordinals, and from others, third place ordinals, for artistic impression and presentation, a little bit lower, but it's still good enough. Tanya Bingert is our leader for the moment. Karen Preston has fallen to second place. Forget about Marina Kielman, 23 years old, from Germany. Here is her combination, triple toe, double toe.
call on the ice. Marina Thielman from Germany. Will she stand first? We will find out in a few moments here in the London Gardens. We're also getting ready for Jill Trenery. She is also up next. We'll wait for her marks. She had a perfect program. This combination, sequence jumps at the end, very simple, single loop, double loop, one more single loop, another double loop. Impressive in terms of its length, and I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. It was flawless, really. She didn't stumble a bit. And these traveling three times done very fast in half spiral position, rolling right into the flying camel, a very strong and dynamic ending. The mark for tactical merit, keep in mind, Canada's Tanya Bingert sits first right now, but we'll see how these scores will reflect in her standing. Marina Kielman for technical merit, and the Ordinals for artistic impression vaults her into top spot. She had four first place selections from four of the seven judges. Well, we've all heard about the Cinderella story. This is a former world champion on the road back. 23-year-old Jill Trenery of the United States.
Mitchell will be kept her off the ice for most or all of last year. This is her first major competition on the road back. She would like to someday earn another Olympic spot. It will be very tough for Jill Frenery. And the road back, as we saw today, is not an easy one. Surya Bonnelly is next at the 1991 State Canada International. Some source of inner strength, she has still the, the poise of an incredible skater. This was where it started to go bad, right with the first jump, the triple flip. Just no follow through on the landing, and I mean it just continued on from there. This one, the south, just no flow coming out on the landing. When you miss that first one, we've talked about it how many times before. It's certainly a, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. And the mark from a 4.8, as low as, and up to a 5.2. Jill Trenary with second place ordinals from two judges. Certainly disappointed in this state, Canada, but again, she is still on the comeback trail. For now, she sits third at the Skate Canada International behind Karen Preston. And the leader comes a tornado on ice. Look out, Kurt Browning. Look out, Elvis Stoiko. History could be made here today. Surya Bonnelly of France.
She is the queen of the air. <laughs> DJ Gay Guy, her coach. And I don't think there's any doubt, Debbie. The most Maria, incredible jumping set. Celia Bonnelly should strike gold here at Cape Canada. Absolutely fearless. Now, she had the quad planned, and she would have been the first lady to ever successfully, if she did it, of course, land a quad in competition. There may have been discussions about this, uh, someone monitoring what was going on on the ice, saying you don't need to chance an error to win. The quad was a wild card. And she missed it in practice this morning. Maybe that had something to do with it, too. This is the first step off from a standing still edge into one double axle, into the second double axle. Clean and beautiful. That signifies to a skater, to a skating audience, and to a judge just how superb this raw talent is. Well, she is the reigning European champion. She was fifth at the world. Her marks for technical merit certainly are enough. Her marks for artistic impression, she is number one right across the board. And Surya Bonnelly is the ladies' Skate Canada champion. As she collects her flowers, with that winning smile of hers, perhaps a lady, Debbie, who may be revolutionizing Lady skating. There is an exoticism about her that is appealing. Not pretty, but good. She was good today. She was great. We'll be back after this. I'm living so Congratulations. How is your English today? Oh, so good. How did you feel during your program? Everything go as planned? Oh, it was not bad. Uh, first part is very good. And the last, uh, so, so good. It's okay. What about plans for the quad? Uh, I prefer to do just clean because quad is not very good, good yet. And, uh, but I hope to do a uh, next competition. Was someone watching the rest of the skaters for you? Or were you watching? What? Were you watching the other skaters? No. Did you see Jill? No, no, no. I never see so see of the Jill. How do you like to skate? At the beginning of the warm-up or at the end of the skaters? Uh, can you remember? Do you like to skate last? Uh, yes, yes, yes. What plans have you got now? Now, uh, to do my next competition in France and in Japan and do my best. Now it's good to do uh, uh, to, to be first before uh, Jill Chanai because she, she's a world champion in 1990 and I hope now for the Olympics it will be better. Good luck to you. 